Hi, this is Sean from Martell's Coins, and today we got another amazing PCGS box that we just got back from grading, so stay tuned. So today we just got back our recent grading submission from PCGS. We're going to go through them and see what we can get out of it. Hopefully we got some good grades coming up. First up, we got a 1795 large scent, as you can see. Little early date large scent, second year large scent from the US Mint. And this one graded AG detail environmental damage, but it's the plain edge. I knew this was gonna be damaged going into grading, but I just wanna get stuff like this in a holder. Um, it's a lot more saleable. People buy them when they're in the holder, and it's nice for a little, you know, large hit collection. You're not spending a whole lot of money on something that, if it was original, would be a lot more expensive. Next up, we got another early date, 1802. Nice little high grade coin. A lot of detail in the hair and in the reverse. A little cud right there, and that's from the mint when it was made. So pretty nice, cool coin. And this one graded VF detail. Again, got new is gonna go back, come back detail, but it's got a nice high grade to it, nice lot of hair detail, so it's pretty nice. Next up, another large scent here. This is an 1803. And as you can see, it's got a small little fraction and a small date variety, as you can see here. And this one graded BF detail, but a nice, nice, detail as in the strike and the hair and the reverse with the leaves. It's a pretty nice coin. Next up, we got the key date of the Indian sense. This is an 1877. Nice little neat Indian scent. I'll get a little close up view for you guys. And as you can see, one way to tell if 1877 scent is original and not counterfeit is the end down here. See how the tip of the end goes into like a really shallow point, almost disappears. That's one good way of telling if an 1877 is not counterfeit. And this one graded an original AG3. Next we have a nice little three cent nickel. This is an 1882. And as you can see, it's got the flash to it, so it is a proof. So this is an 1882 proof three cent nickel. And this one came back grading as a proof 64. So nice little early type coin. Next we got a couple of another key date Lincoln scent or wheat scent. This is a 1922 and as you can see there is no D on this one. And it's got the strong reverse. The wheat stalks have got full detail in the lines going up on the wheat stalks. And this one is, it's got a little details and you can see the colors off, a little reddish. This is environmental damage, but it is original 1922 no D with the strong reverse. So this would be perfect coin um, for not breaking the bank as in having an original one that would be a good hole filler in a dance go album. Next we have another 1922 no D. This one's nice original color and again, strong weed stock, stocks in the back. And this one came back VF25, so it's a nice original 1922 no D scent. These two came in an old collection, same collection that came all the large scents in our previous video. Um, he also had a few, couple um, runs of wheat scents, and both of these were in those sets that um, his grandfather actually found in wheat scents. Next up, 1893, and this one is the Carson City 1893 CC. Um, nice original color. I mean, if stuff in this grade, this is what the color you're looking for, for originality. And this one came back VF30. So very nice. Next we have semi key date again, 1892. Carson City. As you can see, the coin looks a little washed. Um, the color looks a little bit off. 
but it's got a lot of detail in the hair and the eagle. So it's a higher grade 1892 CC, but yeah, as you can see, it's got problems. So it came back AU detail, uh, but it's still a very nice coin. And lastly, old colonial scent. This is a 1787 Fujio colonial scent. We are one in the back with the chain around. And this one graded fine 15. And this is Club Ray's Rounded Ends variety. But it's very nice original coin for a colonial scent. Well, that's all I have today. Thanks for joining us. We're going to have more videos coming out. Um, so always hit that like and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you.